in this video I'm going to show you how to attach this woodworking vise to my fold down workbench. Um, I bought this from Screwfix, it was about £20, um, it's not particularly high tech or anything like that but I need something to be able to attach to my uh, fold down workbench to enable me to clamp things and make it a bit easier for me to work on them. So. I'm going to fit this and uh, make a video of it and hopefully it might help anyone looking to do it themselves. I'm going to fit the vise on the right hand corner of my uh, fold down workbench so it's going to go about here. Um, it will need to be flush to the top of the uh, of the workbench to make it easier to, to work on things um, and I'm going to have to make sure it's it's solidly mounted on the underside. I've fully uh, closed the vise to see how long it's going to end up and I'm quite lucky in that um, the way I've made the uh, fold down table I've got a skirt that's uh, 12 and a half centimetres that I've made to put my clamps on luckily the depth of it if I did it on the corner is is far enough over so it's going to completely miss this skirt that sits behind it so it's going to make it a lot easier to clamp onto and screw in which is good. The depth from the top to uh, where it fixes on is 61 millimeters so I'm going to have to put a piece of wood in there that's deep enough for 61 millimeters because millimeters because I want this to sit flush um, and level with the with the top of the um, of the workbench. I found a 45mm thick piece of uh, treated timber that I used for something else. So um, this is idea was the top of the uh, worktop is 15mm, 45mm is 60mm. So it's it's there or thereabouts going to going to enable it to sit flush with this. The way I'm going to fix this is I'm going to it's got four screw holes, um, four screw holes on the underside. So I'm going to screw them into this um, and then I'm going to screw through the top of the workbench into the top of the timber to secure it. Um, I think I'm probably going to put some, some bolts through it because this is pretty heavy and if it's holding a, a heavy workpiece it, it will need something a bit more sturdy. So I think um, bolts that are going to be recessed are going to be the way forward. To fit the vise to the worktop I'm going to bolt through this timber into the vise um, right through the top of the worktop so it will hold it nice and securely. Um, to, to mark where I'm going to need the bolt holes and I'm going to recess them in the in the worktop I've, I've lined up the vise where I want it on the uh, on the tabletop and I'm just going to mark um, some holes for me to drill through the top of the uh, worktop. I'm using this automatic centre punch to mark where I'm going to drill the holes. Drilling the holes now. To recess the uh, head of the bolt in the worktop I'm going to use this Forstner bit that I've got that's the right diameter. Um, it's a 20mm Forstner bit and it fits the, it fits the top of the of the bolt perfectly. I'm going to put the recess holes in now. They don't need to be too deep so I'll just check it before I... Because yeah. it's a coach bolt as well it's got it's got a little bit on the end so as it tightens it'll pull it in. I've marked on the wood where I want the holes to be for the vise and I've just secured it with this uh, bolt while I've um, been drilling and I've drilled through the four holes to secure the bolt right through the bit of timber um, and they will correspond exactly with the, the holes on the top of the, uh, the workbench as you can see. I've put the bolts through the worktop and also through the timber so now I can put the uh, the vise on the bottom and bolt it on. I've bolted through the vise and the timber 
and it's now fixed securely to the worktop. Um, it's not quite flush with the end, but it's good enough so that if I need to put something in and clamp it, I'll be able to. Um, I'm now going to fit some timber in the jaws so I can uh, not damage any work pieces. I've fitted uh, some wood to the jaws now and put in some screws through here. I actually had to take the vise back off to put the screws through the other side to put the, the jaws on this side on. Um, so that's that's the vise installed. Um, it's pretty sturdy. The only thing I'll have to be careful of is that it's, it is leaning, it is take, the, the MDF is taking the weight and MDF isn't the strongest so I will have to be a little bit careful um, that I'm not pushing too hard on things but it's um, it's serving its purpose and uh, and gripping work pieces for doing things with so there you go that's the end of the video I hope you found it useful if you did please give me a thumbs up if you didn't please give me a thumbs down if you do give me a thumbs down please give me some feedback on how I can improve see you again soon bye bye